is Larry Lurcy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to try and give you a quick introduction to layers. Layers is one of the most powerful things in Photoshop, but people that are new to Photoshop sometimes don't quite understand how layers work. So I'm going to try and give you just kind of a quick overview of what the, uh, a layer is and, and how it works. You can find your layers, by the way, if you go up here to View, I'm sorry, to Window, and uh, make sure you've got the layers checked right there and it'll bring up this little layers palette and as you can see right now I've just got a background layer and it's white so what we're seeing right here is um, the entire document not anything too crazy so I've got another document here and I'm going to take this top layer drag it over here okay so now when we look here at this document you can see there's a blue layer and a white layer let me get here where I kind of move this around. And you can see that um, because it's not transparent, it's, it's you know, solid color, that where, where this layer is, and you can kind of see in my preview here, it is um, wherever it's covering up, that's where I can see this layer. Um, now, one of the things I can do is I can change the opacity of this layer right here in the palette where I've got this one selected and I come here to the opacity. And you'll see there on the left that that blue starts fading away where you can see through it. Whoops, accidentally locked it. There you go. All the way back up to full strength. Put it right there where it's covering up the white. Now we can't see the white at all. The blue completely covers it. White's still there underneath. I can turn it off right here. This little eye means whether it's visible or not. For example, I can make the white one invisible but it doesn't matter because we can't see through the blue anyways but I can turn the blue off now I can see the white and basically you'll go about stacking these colors I'm gonna bring in another one bring in a yellow and um, so I've got the yellow over here so when we look at this right here it basically looks like blue and yellow but if we look here at our thumbnail the yellow is covering half the blues over here whites underneath Again, we can take this yellow, adjust the opacity, just like that. And basically, you go about stacking these layers on top of each other. And uh, then from there, you can do other things like uh, changing the, uh, the mode, the way that they interact with each other, where normal is just uh, basically just solid. These other ones will kind of allow it to blend with the layer underneath. It won't show up as well with solid colors here, but let me grab something else here to kind of give you another example. I've got this uh, portrait of this girl sitting just on a gray background. Well, one of the things you can do if you look over here at the thumbnails, this thing next to it is a layer mask. You, you basically access those from right down here, this little button. And what that does is it masks out or hides part of the background. So anything that has been masked out with black basically disappears. And that's what these little checker boxes are. It means there's nothing there. Here's how we would take a look at that is um, take, for example, these clouds. And you can see the cloud layer is on top. So it is covering up the angel and the background. Everything is on top. But I can take it right here and drag it down below her now she is sitting on top of it and um, let's just crop in a little closer here just so we're working with a little bit smaller area here All right. so now we've got the angel on top of the clouds and still some stuff through here that we need to clean up a little bit but let's take a look at this layer mask here and what, what you do is when you've got that selected you basically just switch to a black brush let me get just a regular brush here and with this brush anything you erase basically becomes transparent I'm gonna command Z undo that but uh, right here anything you want to keep you paint white anything you want to get rid of you paint black and that allows you to go through and if you say well I don't want this little extra hair on top or whatever you want to do you just brush it right away just like that, if you decide there's something you want to bring back, you just switch to white right here, and we can bring it back. So again, she's visible because she's on top of the clouds, 
the cloud, uh, the gray around her is not visible because it's been masked out right here. Let's look at one more thing we can do to this. Bring in another layer here, put on top, and this is just kind of a texture. Just spread this out on top real quick. Now, as you can see, this texture is completely covering her. We can't see her. She's there underneath if we slide it out of the way. But what we're going to do here is change the blending modes up here from normal to, let's try maybe the overlay. There we go. Uh, we can try the soft light. And you can see it's still affecting the image if we turn it off and on. It's giving the whole thing kind of a warm uh, tone to it. Uh, it's put this texture into the clouds. Kind of brings it all together a little bit more. So even though it's on top of her, because of the blending mode, uh, we can still see through it, at least partially. And so that's how you kind of go about building up these layers of um, things on top. If we go back to our blue that we had before, and I take this blue layer and drag it on top, you can see where it is, it's covering her up. Move it around, covering her up. I could change the, uh, the mode, for example, to color, where it just lets the blue color go through. And there it is right there. You can see everywhere where that blue square is, the blue color is going down. So again, a lot of different things you can do with this. Um, not so much trying to teach you how to use all these tools right here. It's more just introducing you to what all is out there. There's tons of uh, tutorials out there on each of these subjects, from the blending modes to um, uh, the blending modes right here to the masking and uh, using layer masks to using texture overlays, uh, compositing uh, a subject on top of a background. All these subjects are really easy to look up and go into and you could really spend a lot of time on each one. But for those that aren't using layers or maybe you haven't even started using Photoshop or you're new to Photoshop, just a quick overview of all the things you can do with layers once you kind of understand how it works. Um, so I hope that helps some, and be sure to check back for more tutorials soon. Bye-bye.